Hi guys, it's John Wildy. I'm here to talk to you a little bit today. After nine years as a CRNA and seven years as a full-time locum and running locumcrna.com, I am trying to give you some good information to help you out on your journey. CRNAs, we are notorious planners and analyzers and we take everything into account and I think sometimes that makes us a little too much of a planner or too analytical that can get us into trouble as far as the what ifs the what if i needs and today we're going to talk about planning what to take with you when you're starting your locum assignment so some of the things that made me think of this are i just came back to my assignment and i have way too much with me i have at least three bags here full of stuff and I'm here for seven days. That doesn't include the things that I brought for the additional time. So first things first, bring something that's dress casual, whether that's a for a female a nice blouse and slacks or something business casual. Um, for, for men, maybe a polo shirt and some either nice jeans or slacks. Uh, that way when you go in and you have to do orientation or you need to get scrubs, you're not looking like a scrub and, um, you know, just not looking your best. Uh, on your first day, I think it's really important to show up uh, in business casual attire. That way you look uh, presentable and ready to uh, get to work. On the other days, you can dress halfway decent, you know, t-shirt and pants, hopefully not the cut up, ripped up kind of pants and, you know, looking like you slept in your clothes and that kind of thing. But, you know, some decent clothes for every morning when you're going to work and when you're going home. Um, not only do you represent the group there, but you represent yourself. And as you show up on the first day, if you don't look like you're ready to work or you know, aren't looking like you are uh, businessy and professional, it can sometimes, um, you know, be the, the negative first impression and you want to provide the best impression of yourself and your services and seem put together. So that would be the first thing on my list of things to pack. Uh, second thing on my list is I pack for seven days, whether I'm there for seven days or if I'm there for, you know, six months. For the most part, and get by with one set of seven days worth of clothes, something businessy and professional, something for relaxation, and then uh, just some regular clothes that can be worn in uh, composition or uh, as more than one type of outfit. In other words, if I bring three pairs of jeans, a couple of different polo shirts, and then some uh, decent t-shirts uh, that fit well and they don't uh, have crazy slogans on them and that kind of thing. I think that can be uh, most beneficial. And of course the you know necessities of socks, underwear, undershirt, that kind of thing. Um, all very important. And I think that we also might overlook the fact that we need our you know work bag, what, whatever it is that you're going to take into work that's going to have all of your necessities for when you do get there. Your stethoscope, a couple of pens, maybe a Sharpie to be able to mark on uh, your syringes. Uh, so those little things, maybe a badge that you have from another facility just in case somebody's wondering who the heck you are and why you're walking around the hospital at 6 o'clock in the morning. Um, always good to have something with you uh, as far as identification, you as a CRNA. Um, and then, you know, you also have to think about what are you going to do in your off time or downtime or when you're um, in between or you get off at three o'clock. What is it you plan to do, uh, especially if you're staying in a hotel or uh, apartment that's been provided? Uh, do you have the things that are going to make you happy and make it uh, worth having the time that you have time to yourself? Uh, especially if you don't travel with family and that kind of thing. Sometimes we forget that we're going to have uh, extra time. So for me, I bring my homework. I bring the stuff to talk to you with. 
And then um, usually I have either an audiobook, podcast, or an actual physical book along with my other work for other businesses and that kind of thing. And, and most of that is actually held on my laptop. So I bring my laptop, I bring my clothes, dress casual, business casual, and uh, regular comfortable clothes. Uh, a lot of things that a lot of people want to take with them are exercise clothes or if you have exercise DVDs or things on your computer, uh, that's always a nice pastime and something to be able to get up and get going with uh, if that's your thing. Uh, the other things I bring are a carry-on bag because I don't always try and pack everything away, especially important necessities because... Heaven forbid your bag get lost for a day, I still need to be able to work. So I always pack my work things in a bag that I'm going to have ready and able to go directly to work uh, should my luggage not show up. Uh, so that might be a thought for when you get on the plane, have the set of clothes that you want to be able to show up in, as well as uh, the things that you need to work in your carry-on, that way you always have it with you. Uh, especially if you're uh, taking a flight to your assignment. Um, and then all the details of your assignment. Always make sure that you have access to it, access on email to your assignment. Don't delete the email with all the information, who you're going to meet, when you're going to meet, where you're going to meet, uh, and where your uh, hotel is because you know half the time all of that's emailed to you and... You get in, you finally get your car, and then you're trying to figure out where you're going. And um, if you printed it out and it was in your luggage, you may not have it. So you want to make sure that you have everything you need to be able to start the assignment uh, in your carry-on, uh, preferably. So things, other things that you might want to have with you, uh, you know, that is kind of up to you. It depends on where you're going to. So if you're going to be changing seasons, especially while you're there without taking a break, make sure you have you know, season appropriate things with you. Or if you're going to go on vacation uh, from your assignment, make sure you have the things that you need for that vacation, whether you're visiting family or going skiing. Um, just try to you know, pack mentally or smartly uh, as you're going through and make sure you're not double and triple packing or saying what if, what if, what if. You know, most of the time we are smart enough to say, okay, well, I have enough clothes for seven days. I can wash them at some point during those seven days. And what I try not to do is get overextended and then find out I'm going to have to work late the next day and I no longer have enough deodorant because I packed a little half thing of deodorant and all of a sudden I ran out the night before and they made me work late and I don't want to go to the store or something like that. Um, so, you know, it sounds stupid, but if you can go through and mentally, you know, check off, I have all the things for work. They're all packed in my carry on. I have something for the plane. Um, I downloaded an audio book or the podcast that I want to listen to on my phone. I made sure that it was charged. I have a charger for my phone. A lot of times, you know, chargers go missing. So that is one thing from each assignment. I have lost, I think, at least two chargers at every assignment I've ever gone to. I don't know why they're so popular. Maybe I'm horrible at keeping them with me, but it seems like more and more I lose a charger here or there or somebody borrows it. And for some reason, I don't remember who borrowed it or where it went. But it is incidentally gone missing, gone into the same place that half of my socks go to because for some reason, every time I do laundry, I lose at least one half of a pair or a mate to the sock and it's gone. So what I'm saying is go through your things, make sure you've packed them all appropriately, make sure that you know you have the appropriate wear and your materials for you, whether... You know, you're going for a few days or if you're going for a few weeks, uh, it's easy to go through things and get a little sidetracked or last minute dump, you know, seven shirts and one pair of pants into a bag and all of a sudden you're on the plane at 4 a.m. and you realize you didn't bring everything you wanted to bring with you. 
That also kind of leads to the preparation of the assignment. You should know by maps, by you know researching beforehand, what hotel, where you're going to stay. You've looked at it, you know, called ahead, made sure the assignment, you know, scheduled your hotel, and then you know know in relation to the hotel where you're going to work, where you're going to meet people, who you're going to meet, and at what time. Uh, those things are really going to come into play, especially if they say, well, we want you ready to work at 7 o'clock in the morning uh, the day you get here or the day after you arrive, if you arrive the night before. Uh, so you should definitely know where you're going and have everything ready. So all you have to do is change into a pair of scrubs, find out where the OR is, how they chart and document and where uh, recovery is, and you know, go from there. CRNA, so that was a basic packing list. Of course, there's always more things that you want to bring with you. Um, you know, you want to bring 10 bottles of water, but you can't because it's an airplane. If you're driving, you don't want to pack your full car full of stuff and then, you know, set up your entire household inside a hotel room or a fully furnished apartment. So definitely, you know, make sure, make a list, make sure you have everything you need, but you're not over packing. And remember that you have to take it all with you wherever you're going. Um, especially if you end up going from one assignment to the next assignment. So, you know, be cognizant of what you're going to do, where you're going to go. If you're going to go on vacation, make sure you have all those essentials with you. And then your immediate work needs, definitely have them on the plane with you or in the car. Uh, and make sure everything's all packed up and ready to go because heaven forbid you get delayed or show up just in time to go to work. You want to make sure everything's already ready already. Um, if you like this video and you want more information as we continue to go down the, the locum journey, please make sure you subscribe to this uh, YouTube channel and keep coming back for more. I always want to present you with good information, make it quick and easy. Thank you and have a great day.